Hi, Yapton. We're all missing you at school. And we've all decided we'd like to share our favorite stories with you. And this is one of mine. Now, if you were in Canva, you would have heard this story already because you know it's one of my favorite books, but we'd like to share it with everybody else as well. And it's called Billy's Bucket by Kez Gray and Gary Parsons. Here we go. Are you sitting comfortably? Can I have a bucket for my birthday? Asked Billy. Billy's dad looked up from his newspaper. A bucket? You don't want a bucket for your birthday. Nobody has buckets for their birthday. Why don't they? Asked Billy. Because Billy, explained his mum, buckets are, well, 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 buckets are far too bucketry to be a birthday present. But Billy wouldn't be persuaded. Please, please, can I have a bucket? He asked. Have a bike, said his dad. Or some new trainers, said his mum. Or a computer game. I want a bucket, said Billy. All right, sighed Billy's dad. You can have a bucket for your birthday. Yippee, shouted Billy. The next day, Billy, his mum and his dad went to Buckets R Us. Buckets R Us, rubber buckets, plastic buckets, metal buckets, garden buckets, farm buckets, builders buckets, seaside buckets, and even football buckets. Billy's mum and dad followed Billy up and down every single aisle. Oh, well, what sort of bucket are you looking for? They asked. I don't know, said Billy, but I'll know it when I see it. But Billy looked long and hard at every single bucket on every single shelf. There it is, he shouted excitedly. That's the one I want. Right up there, 19 shelves up and number 78 along from the left. Billy's mum and dad got some help. They all look the same to me, said the shop assistant. Nope, that one is special, said Billy. When Billy got home, he ran straight into the kitchen and filled his bucket with water. Wow, said Billy inside his bucket. I can see a rock pool with crabs and seaweed and little shrimpy things. Of course you can, said Billy, smiled his dad. Billy shouted his mum. Guess what I've just seen now, said Billy sitting down for his birthday tea. I've seen a stingray and some clownfish and a huge shoal of barracudas and I think I've seen a mermaid. Oh, oh it might have been a big herring. Of course you did, said Billy. Laughed his dad. Billy carried his bucket into the lounge. What's in your bucket at the moment, Billy? Chuckled his dad. Two submarines and a pilchard, said Billy. What's in your bucket now, said Billy, giggled his mum. Seven sea lions and a walrus, said Billy. Of course there are, Billy, laughed his mum and dad. They didn't believe him. Billy was still staring into his bucket at bedtime. Billy's dad nudged his wife and went. Billy. Is it all right if we borrow your bucket to mix up some wallpaper paste tomorrow? Billy looked up from his bucket and frowned. No, it isn't. There are dolphins in my bucket at the moment. You must never borrow my bucket. Billy's mum waited a few moments and winked her eye at, at her husband. Billy, is it all right if we borrow your bucket, of water, bucket to water some roses with tomorrow? Billy looked up from his bucket and shook his head. No. There are two scuba divers in my bucket at the moment. You must never, ever, ever borrow my bucket. Billy's dad chuckled to himself and waited a few more moments. Billy, is it all right if I borrow your bucket to clean the car with tomorrow? Billy looked up from his bucket and sighed. <sighs> no, it isn't all right. There's a coral reef in my bucket at the moment. You must never, ever, 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 ever borrow my bucket. What an imagination, laughed Billy's mum and dad. Time for bed. Billy put his bucket away and went upstairs. Thanks for a lovely birthday, he said, and the best present in the world. When Billy woke up the next morning, he got dressed quickly and ran downstairs to play with his bucket, but it wasn't there. I told you not to borrow my bucket, 
said Billy. Oh, look, Dad's car. It took Billy's mum and dad six hours, three fire engines, four cranes and a shoehorn to get the whole back, the whale back into the bucket. And they never borrowed Billy's buckets ever again. Now, what are you going to do with your buckets at home? What's inside yours? Maybe you can send us a picture or maybe write us a little something about what's inside your bucket. Thanks for listening.